With the ocean stretching out before them, the men of the Yami tribe put their fishing knowledge and skills to work to provide food for their families, while the children swim and play in the water, and the women take care of the home and the taro paddies. This is the traditional lifestyle of the Yami living on tranquil Orchid Island. Flying fish is the most important source of animal protein for island residents, and the catching of flying fish has become an important part of Yami culture. Every spring, schools of flying fish follow the black current to waters near Orchid Island. Ceremonies and activities related to the flying fish play important roles in local society, culture, and life. There are a number of other species of fish in the waters around Orchid Island. The Yami divide fish into three categories. Those for the elders, those for men, and those for women. Even the plates that the fish are served on are divided into such categories. Those fish designated for the elders may only be eaten by the elders. The fish designated for men are usually fatty with coarse scales and strong flavor. The fish designated for women are usually milder in taste and less fatty. The most important tool for fishing is of course the fishing boat. The Yami traditionally built boats without the use of design sketches, but rather depended on the knowledge passed down orally from generation to generation. The largest fishing boat can seat 10 persons. The keel is first laid, then the boat body is built using 21 or 27 wood planks, depending on the size. The planks are fitted together with wooden pegs without the use of metal nails. Once the boat is finished, various totems are carved into the wood. A human figure pattern with spirals usually decorates the bow and represents a tribal legend of the world's earliest man. On either ends are circular patterns, symbolizing the sun and the eyes of the boat. These patterns are considered to protect the boat by keeping away evil spirits. Along both sides are wave patterns in symmetrical arrangement from top to bottom and left to right. The Yami do not consider these patterns to be decorative, but rather they form part of their belief system. The boat building process can take years. It begins with obtaining the blessings of family members and the collecting of wood from trees on the family's ancestral land. The actual building work may require two or three months. The launch of a new boat becomes a special occasion for the village. Before the boat is launched, it is completely covered in taro root. The ship owner will distribute the taro root and pork to his relatives and friends. The men put on traditional dress of a blue and white striped vest and loincloth. They surround the boat and perform rites to drive away evil spirits. Following that, they pick up the boat and throw it in the air several times before taking it into the water for its maiden voyage. Fishing is men's work and how well a man mastered fishing skills determined his social standing. In this tribe, fishing is given more social and cultural importance than agriculture. The Lanyu Township Administrative Office organizes the Torch Festival to complement the boat launching ceremonies. Men and women from Orchid Island's six villages are invited to perform traditional dances such as the welcome dance and the hair swaying dance. At the same time, ceremonies are held to bless the new boat in the hope that it will bring in a good catch. Oh, <laughs>